Burkina Faso security forces have unalived a fugitive that was involved in the recent coup attempt against Ibrahim Traore. As you know, it failed. It was actually thwarted. So Ibrahim Traore was able to escape their attempt. There were many officers that were fired because of this and also the chief of staff was replaced with another person because he was also involved. There was also speculation that he has received money from France allegedly to betray his country. The chief of staff to President Ibrahim Traore betrayed his country for 25 billion CFA and the coup was thwarted thanks to Burkina Faso's intelligence. So the person that was unalived was a fugitive. He was running away after the coup was thwarted and he is one of the military officers that were involved in this coup. But this is showing a different light to most of the stories that we cover. Unfortunately, majority of the stories that we have covered usually they get away with an aliving or betraying or basically selling out their own people. But in this Burkina Faso case, thus far, this is a second coup attempt that was thwarted. So clearly they're doing something different and Burkina Faso should definitely help out, reach out to Mali, Niger and all those countries right now that are working towards getting out of the neocolonization system, getting out of the relationship, the parasitic relationship African countries have with the former colonial masters. So it seems like something is working with Burkina Faso because how do you succeed in thwarting a coup not once but twice and end up also capturing most of the people that were involved in deceiving their people and betraying their people something they're doing is working something our young leader of Burkina Faso Ibrahim Traore is doing is working clearly because even the people of Burkina Faso are celebrating him there has been another coup attempt in Burkina Faso and this time around the people of Burkina Faso went out to the streets specifically at the UN roundabout to voice their opinion and to protect their leader, Ibrahim Traore, at all cost. So I feel like other African countries should take notes when it comes to how Burkina Faso is handling people that betray their own, their countries, their colleagues anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this i am on gilza lalem i'll see you on the next one bye